Martin. Hey, welcome back on the Good Morning Artesia radio show. I was just telling the barking guy back during the summer months when we were putting together our fall sports schedule, I thought, you know, let's take... Uh, we have the Cowboys on our country station and our Spanish station. And the whole time that we've had the Cowboys, they've had one or two playoff games. They haven't gone very deep in the playoffs. There was the Jason Garrett era, which was the mediocre era or the average area where they would always finish 8-8 eight and eight in, uh, in a weak division and maybe get a playoff spot and either get beat in the first round. I think, can I, I'm trying to think, did they have any first-round wins under Garrett? with uh, Tony Romo. I, I, don't, I don't think so. Anyway, so we had that going on, and we thought, well, let's put some other football on the radio this weekend. Um, I knew the New Mexico State Aggies weren't going to be very good, but there's a lot of Aggie fans around here, New Mexico State people. So we have the Aggies back here on KSVP. And thought, you know, Texas Tech is pretty popular around here. You see a lot of Texas Tech fans. So, well, let's put, they've got a pretty good program over there. Let's put Texas Tech on the radio. And then uh, we had a chance maybe to pick up UNM, renew our deal with UNM up in Roswell, and we instead went with what I was told was the winningest college football program in New Mexico, the Eastern New Mexico University Greyhounds. And so I thought we had a pretty powerful lineup. We were going to have the Greyhounds on KEND. We were going to have Texas Tech Red Raiders on 92.9. We've got the Cowboys. And, uh, and then the Aggies just, you know, what the heck, it's Saturday night. Let's put the Aggies on and see how badly they get beaten. <laughs> the Greyhounds have only three wins this year. They're terrible. <laughs> New Mexico State has lived up to expectations. They have one win this year. Maybe they've lived down to expectations. And what's up with Texas Tech? Can you believe how bad they are this year? They fired their coach. coach. Uh, Oklahoma hung half a hundred on them over the weekend. And, and, and uh, to quote an email that I got over the weekend on Saturday, <laughs> let, me, let me see if I can pull this up. <laughs> to, <laughs> to quote an email, this is an actual email they got on Saturday. Why is the tech game being broadcast? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just quoting an email that I got Saturday afternoon. Why is the tech game being broadcast? So I don't know what I'm going to do for next year, Barking Guy. I mean, obviously we're committed through the end of this football season. We've got a couple more. I think I think Greyhounds have two more games. I think the Aggies have three more. Texas Tech's got three more, and then. And then the seasons are done. I'm I'm gonna have to maybe reconsider <laughs> the college football thing. I don't know. What do you think? Mm, I don't know. Uh, I thought that it would be entertaining to have to, to have those, but yeah, you may want to reconsider. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm I'm we're we're gonna think about year. it. <laughs> <laughs> when the guy calls me from Eastern, I'm going to say, what happened to the winningest football program? And then here's the sad thing. I look up UNM's record. Yeah. I know the Aggies have only won one game. I look up, and I hadn't been paying any attention to UNM at all. And then so I look at UNM's record, and then I pulled up Eastern's record, and I thought, well, they're tied for the winningest football program <laughs> in New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this this is an email I got. Um, I don't know if I still have it or if I deleted it because I, I laughed. And it's from the people at uh, UNM. Yeah. Uh, would either of you like to broadcast basketball games? <laughs> would either of you? <laughs> <laughs> there, are there two of us <laughs> outside of Albuquerque that have even considered carrying UNM sports would either because either signifies two right yes if it's if it's three it's not either no so when I say would either of you I'm usually that means I'm looking at two people right yes okay well that's that was the email would either of you <laughs> So there must only be two people outside of Albuquerque that have expressed interest in or have carried UNM sports outside of Albuquerque. How sad is that? Yeah, it's, it's pretty sad because usually when you have people broadcasting sports, 
we have a network. Mm -hmm. I know uh, in professional and uh, around Detroit, you not only have the Detroit station, but you had you had Flint and you had Saginaw and you had uh, uh, Lansing and, mm -hmm. and Kalamazoo and Grand Rapids. Yeah, they, you know, they were all broadcasting uh, the Detroit Tigers and Detroit Lions. Yeah. Yeah, you used to have, you had affiliated stations. Well, in New Mexico, apparently with, with UNM, there's only two people outside of Albuquerque that, that broadcast or have broadcast in the past. We didn't carry UNM football this fall, so mm -hmm. that meant there was one. Now, I think New Mexico State has a little bit bigger network. I know there's, there's the flagship station in Las Cruces, and then they own a station in Deming. So I know it's on in Deming and Cruces. We carry Aggie football here, but I don't know if anybody else around the state of New Mexico carries uh, Aggie football outside of those three, <laughs> one of which is the flagship. <laughs> so I guess they could ask the same question to me. Would either one of you want to carry <laughs> Aggie men's basketball? I don't know. And, and, and technology has changed, too. I'll give you an example. Um, when we we stream all of our radio stations on the internet, right? Yes. Okay. When the Aggie games come on or the uh, Texas Tech Red Raider games come on, I have to geofence my stream to a 75-mile radius around Artesia. So every Saturday when, when the Tech game comes on or the Aggie game comes on and I turn on the geofence... I see how many people we bump offline because we, we, we have to kick people off that may be outside the 75-mile radius that are listening to our station online that not, are not allowed to listen to the station outside the 75-mile radius. And depending on the time of the day and the program that we're carrying, it could be 15, 20, 30 people that we bump off. And I always feel bad about it, but that's the way the, the contract is and so that's another thing that I need to consider when we reconsider uh, putting on some college football next fall is how many people did I make mad by bumping them off whenever the Aggie game came on or when the Texas Tech game came on now in the case of the Cowboys we can't stream at all so I have to that's called a blackout so at yeah. kickoff time we go into a blackout boom Everybody that's listening, you can't even listen to it locally within the 75-mile radius. There is no online listening to uh, Dallas Cowboys football. Yet, we got an awful lot of people that listen to our station through the app or through TuneIn or, or online, especially when there's a football game. We have a lot of people that watch us on social media and uh, watch us on YouTube when we're doing a high school football game. Now, we don't have any restrictions on those. Those are, mm. those are wide open. And the Greyhounds, by the way, if anybody else out there wanted to hear the Greyhounds <laughs> lose 57-7 to 7 this past Saturday night, they could have tuned in and listened from anywhere uh, on the planet. But uh, it, it's, it's kind of a new world in that a lot of this stuff is available online. Now, it's easier for people if you just can turn on a radio in the car while you're driving around or... Or something like that. Uh, it's easier for folks to 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 pull up the game, but we have an awful lot of online listening. And every time the Texas Tech Red Raiders come on, I got a bunch of boot a bunch of people off of ninety two nine. Every time the Aggies come on on a Saturday afternoon or a Saturday night, I got a boom boot a bunch of people off of uh, off of the nine ninety stream, and I don't like doing that. So. We'll have, to, we'll have to see. Anyway, let's take a look at our weather forecast for today, see what kind of weather Steve has cooked up for us. What do you got there? <laughs> 